Hello and welcome back to Irene's Book Club. Today we'll be reading Monkey with a Tool Belt. But first, let's say hi to our special guest, my little sister. Yay! Yay! So, let's start. Monkey with a Tool Belt. Chico Bonbon bon was fixing a sprinkler on a hot summer day. The sprinkler had been spraying too much water. Then it stopped spraying. Chico took a closer look. This may require some fixing, he said. Chico had all the tools for the job in a little toolbox tucked in his tool belt. The sprinkler was soon working again. Just then, the male kitty rode up. Hi, Chico. Hi, kitty. It was a postcard from, from Clark. He was on vacation at his uncle's seaside resort. The postcard read, Dear Chico, please come to the beach. We need you, your help to make my uncle's at my uncle's resort. Things are breaking. Please come soon. Your friend Clark. P.S. Also, we can get go surfing. The waves here are sweet. Chico Bon Bon Big Tree House next to Elsa's. I think I will go to the beach, thought Chico Bon Bon. They definitely need my help. Chico was also a big fan of surfing. He packed his bag and called for a ride. Off they went. But they had a few problems along the road. A tire on the rickshaw went flat and fell over. Chico fixed it with air, spearmint gum, and some clover. A frog on a bicycle went in the ditch. Chico rescued his bike with the balloons and a hitch. They stopped at a drive-in to eat some burritos. He fixed a torn screen to keep out the mosquitoes. Their root beer dispenser was having some trouble. He loosened a nut and out popped a bubble. Soon they arrived at the beach. The rickshaw driver said goodbye and pedaled off. Chico looked around. The resort looked amazing. Clark came walking up the beach. He was wearing Hawaiian shirt, Hawaiian shorts, and a Hawaiian visor. He had forgotten his tool belt at home. Hello, Chico. Am I ever glad to see you? Something is running amok here, and we don't know what it is. Chico was glad to see his old friend, but this, his outfit made it a little hard to focus. A lot of things have been broken, said Clark's Uncle Bill. Who suddenly appeared from behind some surfboards. That is mysterious, Chico agreed. I think we should start fixing the broken things. Maybe we can find some clues. They walked down to one of the cabanas. It had a big hole in the roof. It looks like something or someone fell through. Chico put on his safety harness and climbed the roof. He didn't see anything unusual except for a green feather and a big piece of seaweed. He tucked the feather in his tool belt. Then he fixed the hole with some palm leaves, twine, and nails. The next broken thing was one of Uncle Bill's little sailboats. Something had scuffed the floor so much that now the boat was leaking. Whatever it was had also filled the sailboat storage bench with breadcrumbs. This is odd, 
thought Chico as he carefully repaired the bottom of the boat. He patched it and then vacuumed up the breadcrumbs with the wet, dry fat. He borrowed from a friendly sea captain. Next, they walked down the hammocks. I think something has chewed the rope," said Uncle Bill. "Yes, I believe you are right," Chico said. Chico, kind of weird, kind of a weird thing to do," observed Clark. They're not very tasty. Chico repaired the ropes and retied the hammocks. Underneath, he found a cupcake wrapper and triangular footprints in the sand. Just then, one of the lifeguards ran up. Something's wrong with the water slide. They all rushed to the slide. The water was barely trickling down the tube. Where's all the water? Crawling out is hurting our knees. Swoosh! Suddenly, they all heard a loud swoosh at the top of the tube. Sliders blasted out of the bottom of the slide. They were all okay, but extremely water clogged. They scrambled out of the pool. Water was spraying out the bottom of the slide like a giant fire hose. Everyone ran for cover. Chico went behind the slide to a small building. The door would not budge. He checked the doorknob with his ninety-degree turn detector. No turning was detected. He loosened it with his half-inch Lucy Lou. He put a wobble wedge under the knob. He sprayed some invisible oil behind the wedge. It was hard to tell how much to use. He dusted the keyhole with bubble powder. Three tiny bubbles floated out. A good sign. He felt hungry, so he ate a banana. He wiggled the doorknob. Then turned it slowly. It made a small sound. Click. The door unlocked. He slowly pushed it and opened. It opened and peeked around the edge. He looked inside the pump room. He could not believe his eyes. A large green duck was tap dancing on a pump handle. Chico had not expected this. After a moment, he politely said, "What are you doing up there, dancing? How do you like my moves? They're really very good, but you are causing a few problems with the water slide." "I'm causing problems," said the duck. "Yes," said Chico. "Some mice just went on the ride of their lives." Would it help if I got down from here? Asked the duck. Yes, said Chico. As the duck backflipped onto the floor, <coughs> Chico turned the handle to slow down the water. As the duck moonwalked backwards into a pile of buckets, crash! Whoa, stuff around here sure breaks a lot. As Chico helped him up, he realized something. He pulled a feather from his tool belt pocket and held it up to the duck. He noticed several things about the duck that matched some of the other clues. He looked at the duck's feet; they matched the shape in the sand by the hammocks. Chico had solved the mystery. Just then, Clark and Uncle Bill showed up. I think I figured out how everything got broken," said Chico, glancing toward the duck. "But I'm pretty sure it was accidental." "A duck? That's all?" said Clark. "I thought it was a monster or a wild animal." "Well, he is a little wild, actually," said Chico. "But he is also a really good dancer."
The duck danced outside and hopped on his bike. He rode off down the beach. Next time, try not to break so much stuff. Another problem solved. Oh, another problem solved," said Clark. "You sure are good at fixing things, Chico. I wonder if he'll come back. Well, at least everything is all fixed now. So, guys, now how about this idea? Let's go surfing. <laughs> so off they ran. To catch the last waves before sunset. The end. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed. But before we go, let's take a quiz. Who sent Chico a postcard? Mail cat, swimming squirrel, Clark the elephant. Clark the elephant. What is Chico's motivation for going to the beach? He likes reading books on the beach. He wants to sunbathe and surf. He wants to help Clark, and he wants to surf. The resort Chico goes to looks amazing. What is a resort? A beach with games, a place with lots of games for everyone, a closed-off area that provides a place to stay, food, and games for people on vacation. Yay! True or false? Chico gets frustrated when things are broken. False. While Chico repairs things, he finds a cupcake wrapper and triangular footprints in the sand. These two things are Mrs. Clues map makers. Clues. <coughs> Describe the green duck that Chico discovered. Silly and excited. Exuberant and fancy. Mean and troublesome. Silly and excited. Now let's see our score. Yay! We got them all correct. And see you next time on Irene's Book Club. Bye.